Hi. Does your cat smell? Does your cat have kitty dandruff? Does your cat choose to not bathe themselves? If you've answered yes to any of the following questions, I'm here to help you resolve these issues. We love our pets, and they deserve as much attention as we do, but they don't always get it. Sometimes they're shedding, their fur is greasy, or they just plain smell. And no one would want to snuggle up with anything like that. So I'm going to teach you how to get your cat squeaky clean. Having a clean cat can help your everyday life. You see, cats like to take the throne atop one's bed. And some people don't like that because they have to wash their sheets a lot more often. So by having a clean cat, you won't have to do that. And it also helps you bond with your cat. If you're able to give your cat a bath and not get the hell scratched out of you, then your cat probably likes you. However, if the moment you do turn the water on and your cat does go nuts, run. Because nothing is worse than a feline frantically trying to escape a wet bathtub. I have two cats. The one I'll be washing today is a 42 pound hulk of a beast named Panther. Sadly, he sheds and he gets kitty dandruff and I don't like it. So let's get right into it, shall we? This is how to wash your cat. For this project, you will need catnip, a large water jug, animal shampoo, a brush, a towel, and some fresh cat treats. First, brush your cat. Brushing your cat gets rid of many of the loose hairs and prevents your drain from clogging later. Now, give your cat some catnip. Your cat will cooperate much better if he's high. Now that your cat's good and high, place him in the tub. Make sure the water is a nice temperature for your cat. You don't want it too hot or too cold because your cat certainly will not like it. Now, grab your water jug and pour water all over your cat. You will have to do this many times if your cat has a thick coat. And be sure to continue to pet your cat so that he stays more relaxed. Once your cat is completely wet, it's time to add a large amount of shampoo to your cat. Continue to rub in the shampoo for about three to five minutes. It will take quite a bit of time to completely cover him in the shampoo. Use the tips of your fingers to massage the shampoo deeply into the cat's coat. And don't forget his chest and stomach. Now pour water on your cat repeatedly until all of the shampoo is removed from your cat's fur. By this point, your cat will probably be anxious to get out, but don't let them until the shampoo is completely out. Continue to rinse and repeat with the water. It will also help if you run your hands down your cat's back to get rid of the shampoo a bit more quickly. You're almost done. Pick up your cat and set them on the large towel. Wrap them up and begin to dry them. It's going to take a considerable amount of time to get your cat completely dry. Be prepared to continue drying them for about 10 to 15 minutes. Your cat's hair will probably look like porcupine quills. So get your brush and brush your cat's hair out. If your cat still is not completely dry by this point, just grab a hair dryer. It'll speed up the process a lot. If you've made it this far, then you successfully finished giving your cat a bath and now they deserve some treats. Finally, show your cat some love. This may or may not have been very fun for them.